After Jesus' crucifixion, the sky turned black, and lightning flashed while massive earthquakes split boulders like walnuts. The huge temple curtain ripped in two. Extra, extra, read all about it! Later, dozens of people saw Jesus of Nazareth, spoke with him, touched his hands and sides, and even ate with him, alive again after the crucifixion. But many still wonder, did Jesus really rise from the dead? Well, we know the answer is yes. Today, in the Court of Truth, we'll hear many eyewitness testimonies from the people who were actually there and saw these amazing events. It's an open and shut and open case. Court is in session. Call the first witness. Order, order in the court. Nicodemus, not many highly educated Pharisees believe in Jesus, and I have proof of your skepticism. Why should we believe your testimony about this alleged miracle? I admit it took me a few years to believe in Jesus' words. It does take some of us longer than others. But when Joseph and I saw the earth shake after his death, we knew we couldn't leave him there. It's just like Nick said. We removed Jesus from the cross, wrapped his body, and placed it in a tomb with only one way in or out. I know because I own it. Then soldiers sealed the door and kept guards to make sure no one opened it. Mary Magdalene, I didn't call you to the stand. According to tradition, women aren't allowed to be witnesses. But I was the first person to witness Jesus' return. I object! Overruled. Everyone's testimony is important. Thank you. On the morning of the third day after Jesus was killed, I went to the tomb with the other women to anoint the Savior's body. But when we got there, the sepulcher was empty, and angels said that Jesus had risen. You saw angels? Several of us did. Unfortunately, the apostles tried to explain it away. Are you sure you didn't check the wrong grave? I went back to the garden tomb. I was crying when someone spoke to me. Mary. I thought it was the gardener, but I turned and it was Jesus. Order up for the love. Order in the court. Are you saying that you saw Jesus alive? How can we be sure your eyes weren't playing tricks on you? I even hugged him, but he told me he had to go. I testify that it was Jesus, alive again, just like he promised. A very credible testimony, I'd say. And he even called you by your name. Wow. Ahem, <clears throat> I'll uh, call the next witness. We were walking down the road to Emmaus when we met a stranger. So you admit it was a stranger? Well, that's what we thought at first. He asked what we were talking about. Don't you know? Jesus was crucified three days ago, but this morning his body was gone from the tomb. Really? He blew our minds with the scriptures while we walked together. It wasn't until he broke bread in our home that we realized <gasps> it was Jesus. Hmm. Very interesting. You recognized Jesus when you saw him breaking bread. Every Sunday we remember Jesus by breaking bread and promising to keep his commandments. Hmm. We had to tell the apostles, but cell service stinks in Emmaus. So we ran all the way back to Jerusalem, but they had a hard time believing us. Finally, some sanity around here. Until Jesus appeared to them, too. Oh. At first, we thought it was a ghost. How do you know it wasn't a ghost? As you know, the Sadducees don't believe in resurrection, so it definitely must have been a ghost, not a real living person. Mm? Except that Jesus let us touch the wounds in his hands and feet, and he ate fish and honeycomb. Do ghosts eat? Um, no. Weren't any of you skeptical? Well, I wasn't there when Jesus appeared to the others, and I doubted. I won't believe it's really Jesus until I feel the wounds in his hands and sides. But then, eight days later, he appeared again. 
I felt the nail prints and wounds myself. Lord, it is you. So you're an apostle, supposedly full of faith. Then you doubted, wanting hard evidence. Then you believed again. How can we be sure of anything, hmm? Well, our faith can sometimes go up and down between big spiritual experiences. But I learned a really important lesson that day. Thomas, now that you've seen me yourself, you believe. Those who choose to believe in me without seeing will be even more blessed because of their faith. And as a side note, Thomas would continue with great faith as a mighty missionary, possibly as far as India. And you! You went back to your old job? So you probably don't believe in this alleged miracle, <laughs> right? Ha, huh, of course I believe. But belief and conversion are two different things. In my case, I didn't really know what to do after Jesus left. So, yes, we, uh, went fishing. We didn't catch anything all night. And in the morning, a stranger told us to cast the nets on the right side of the boat. Ah, uh, this story sounds familiar. I knew it was him. There were so many fish. And apparently you jumped out of the boat and swam all the way to shore in a fit of delirium. Hmm? I was deliriously happy. It was Jesus. We sat down with him and stuffed ourselves with the most amazing fish burritos. Hmm. And then he taught us that we needed to feed his sheep. Yep, feed his sheep. Uh-huh, feed his sheep. He really emphasized that. If you truly love me, then stop fishing and feed my sheep. So you knew who Jesus was, but to be really converted, you had to leave your previous life and be witnesses for him throughout the world? Yep. See, being a true witness is a lot more than bearing testimony on the witness stand. It's getting out there and doing. Oh, and um, who are his sheep? Everyone. All of God's children. Really? Wow. Ah, uh, Council? That's a lot of eyewitnesses of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. It's the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. Uh, I have one final question, Your Honor. Yes? Um, can I be a witness? Absolutely. We all can. There are so many ways we can be witnesses for Jesus. Treating others how he would want us to is a great place to start. And we can't forget that the witness begins inside us as the Holy Spirit helps us learn of Him and feel the power of His love. Extra, extra, read all about it! Living Scriptures has one of the greatest films on the resurrection called He is Risen. Check it out! Almost 50 years ago, Living Scriptures was founded to help everyone better understand and feel the power of God's Word. Who knew that today's Line Upon Line series would touch half a million lives every week? Season 4, The Glorious New Testament, is in production, and you are invited to help us in this great cause by clicking the donation link below. And as our gift to you, anyone donating $10 per month also receives a Living Scriptures streaming subscription. For a donation of $1,000 or more, our artists will give your likeness a cameo in one of our videos. Together, through the gospel of Jesus Christ, we can make a lasting impact on countless people around the world. From all of us, thank you. And now, go read the scriptures for yourself.